hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can create the interface and repositories so in the previous video we uh, also learned that how we can add this method in the repository method right and now the time is to implement the interface here which we created uh, right now before this video right so here i'm going to implement the interface so how to implement the interface into the class so you need to add the implements uh, keyword here and then you need to type the uh, name of your interface so it's a user oops it's a user interface right let's uh, let me add this here user interface now it's uh, edit at the top and uh, it's working uh, working fine right so i have implemented uh, uh, all method here and this all is now accessible here right so if i did a mistake like i'm going to make this like this so it's throwing error that app repository does not implement method so i have implemented this interface here so this is allowing us this is restricting us to uh, define the method of all otherwise i'm going to uh, give you an exception so if i save this all so now it's working ex uh, perfectly right so it means that if we define any of the uh, any of the method here so we need to uh, if we are implementing this interface here so we need to call all the method here to work it properly so it's basically maintaining the skeleton if new user came uh, come and it's going to define like this uh, all user so it's not going to work because it's allow uh, it's uh, restricting this user to uh, make this uh, name as all so basically it's used for maintaining all the same convention to users uh, to all of the programmers right and then what's the next so now next is we need to create uh, we need to bind uh, these two uh, interface and uh, repositories right so why we are going to bind these repositories because we are going to uh, make them workable that how we can call this uh, function uh, which we created right now this all right we are not going to call this manually by creating a new object and stuff like that because we are in the laravel and laravel bind these uh, resolve uh, auto dependencies in the by using these service provider right so you can uh, register you need to register uh, this into your uh, service provider so you can register it into your any of the service provider because when when you run your application so all of the runs uh, all of server uh, uh, all of the providers run automatically right but we are not going to implement uh, this into any of the project we are going to create our custom service provider so you will also get an idea that how you can implement this into your custom service provider right so now let's uh, come to our terminal and this terminal here i'm going to create a service provider right so let me type the command what is the command so laravel all commands are very descriptive so it's the command would be php artisan make uh, service provider right php artisan make sir oops make provider not service provider because service provider is a name of provider so here i'm going to create the repository service provider so i name this repository service provider right so this will be created here in this uh, uh, providers directory right so let's hit enter and take i on this uh, providers directory and yes this uh, repository service uh, provider is created so let's uh, click on it and there is two method the first one is registered and this one is a boot so every provider contain these two messages right so now let's go here and in the register method we are going to bind our interface with the repository right so now let's uh, bind this we need to specify the path here so i'm going to do this this app bind here right so this is used for binding the one class with the another one right so i'm going to use this bind so this uh, this one is uh, basically built in laravel behavior right so i'm going to first call this app here app and then i'm going to call the bind okay this bind accept the 
two parameter the first one would be the interface and this and second one would be your class so app and then you need to go to this contracts because it's stored in the app contracts directory and in the contract it's name this we name this user uh, remember that you need to name it properly right so you can also add this at the top the other namespace but i'm not going to do this because i'm following the laravel convention laravel also doing this in the other service provider so let's go here uh, okay okay not this one uh, where it's register methods let me go to the other server provider okay i think the air service provider oh these are added in the register here uh, basically these are added in the app.php file where all of our uh, uh, all of our uh, let me go to the uh, go to this file and then i'm going to explain that uh, where these providers are storing and where they are coming so basically uh, let me go down 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 and uh, here basically these are registering here in the provider edit right so now here I'm going to define the repository repositories uh, what's in uh, let me type it correctly it's a repositories right repositories slash user repository okay so let me confirm it to a uh, repository uh, repositories okay now it's fine so we binded our interface with this repository right so let's save this one and now we created the service provider so we need to register this service provider so let's go to the app.php file and here we are going to register our file right so let's uh, copy this uh, comment and uh, here i'm going to add this here so you can add it uh, anywhere right so i'm going to made this for comment and then i'm going to define all of our custom provider here right and here i'm going to define this app slash providers right and in the provider uh, this would be a repository service provider and let's add this class right like this right so now when our application will be executed this uh, repository service provider will be called right and this will bind our interface with the repository right which we define here in the register method right so now let's go to the next so next what's next so we need to call this interface from our controller right so how we can call this we don't have any object so we need we can get this from this constructor right so let's uh, go to our user controller so let's close this one close this one close this one in the user controller i'm going to implement the construct here right it should be a function construct oops uh, construct okay and in this con uh, construct i'm going to accept the user interface right user interface it's added at the top and here i'm going to define this like uh, user right and uh, here i'm going to uh, create a public property and then assign this user property to this uh, assign this user to this public property so i'm going to define public and then i'm going to also name this uh, like user right so i'm not going to name this user because people uh, will be confused that uh, what is this user and this user right so i'm going to name this uh, like i'm going to name this uh, interface interface and i'm also naming this like user right so now you will get that what is the user what is the variable and what's the constructor variable right so here this and now i'm going to access the user this variable here user and then i'm going to assign this interface value so which is basically a user which we are returning it to uh, returning it from our interface right so here i have added the user here so now we have uh, a public property of this user is available here right 
so we are going to uh, get all of our users so how we can get these users so let's type users variable here right in the variable i'm going to call this user at the top which we added this property uh, user so basically i'm calling this user this property right which we are uh, assigning this value this user and then after this i'm going to call the all method so which we define this in the interface so in the inter interface let me go to the interface so in this interface we define this all and this all is synced with uh, with the user repository so which is returning all of our user so let me open the repository here for you so basically this repository right and it's returning not returning so let me add the return here return and it's returning all of our users okay so it means that now we can uh, uh, get all of the interface method using this uh, public property so i'm going to call this call method here right so first i'm going to dd that i'm getting all of the users or not so save this one and let's get refresh here it's going to get all the users and yes it's getting one because we have only one user in the database and yes we are getting the users so it means that our app repository and interface is binded with each other that's why we are returning this value right so if i uh, go to my repository service provider and i did a syntax mistake i'm going to uh, made this type of mistake so let's get refreshed so it's not going to work because uh, it's not going to resolve their dependencies here it says that uh, this is a user interface is not instantiable because it's not found right so let me also check the video size why our video size are going bigger so sorry for this so i will uh, you uh, mostly you covered all of the things about the repository pattern so in the next videos we are going to implement our next step right so here we are getting all the users and we can now pass these user to this so index so let me uh, remove this dd from there and uh, now these user will be passed to the user dot index and this will be visible in the table and yes now it's there right so it means that we successfully refactored our code so i will meet uh, in the next video because this is going bigger Bye-bye.